so this is the first video of my brand new schedule that I will be posting videos with uh, every Monday and Friday. I will be posting guaranteed on this channel. If you want to check out my full YouTube schedule between all my channels, you can check out my channel update schedule update video that is down in the description below. So as of the first of the month or generally the closest to the first of the month Monday I decided it would be best to do a haul to go over the monthly things and pickups and uh, yeah those kind of stuff and I just want to mention this haul is a combination of July and August and August does include uh, my birthday stuff so there's quite a few things so let's get started first off I will say this new little comfy chair that I have it has a nice little oriental kind of pattern to it I think it looks really lovely and it's gonna be our new film chair so I don't know why but I love it so much and it comes with a cute little pillow that matches so for gaming specific related items, I did have a few things here. Uh, I was able to get Assassin's Creed Rogue. It was more for Chris, but I figured I'd give it a try as well on PC. Uh, we got it for only 10 bucks about at Best Buy. Uh, not a bad deal. And because I actually couldn't run it with my current video card that I had, uh, we decided to upgrade our video card and we went up with the MSI uh, GTX 960 gaming uh, 4G. Uh, video card so it's got uh, four gigabytes specifically for the video card uh, DDR5 and uh, wow I really did not expect it to be as big as it was like it was I was surprised I could fit it in my case for my PC but um, runs really well and I'm very happy with the decision to go for it I got it off Newegg also my work was clearancing out a bunch of video games for the PC like older ones I also picked up Assassin's Creed Brotherhood for a dollar uh, and then Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 for a dollar and I already own this but I got it because box why not because I like my boxes during a storm a few weeks ago my boyfriend's dog decided to try and climb behind our TV while I was playing Tales of Asperia and while we, ha we had to try and like she was like clawing the consoles down my Wii U fell still works it's a tank uh, but the Xbox 360 while we were running Tales of Asperia got scratched up and it stopped working. So I decided to go out and get a new copy of Tales of Asperia and I went with the steelbook case off eBay. Uh, isn't, it isn't in 100% perfect condition but people are charging way too much for a decent condition. But luckily I found someone who started the auction at 99 cents. So it comes with a soundtrack and I love it. And ring a bell from Tales of Asperia is like my jam right now. And then thanks to a coupon at GameStop, I had a $15 off I used. I was actually to got this completely free thanks to the coupon. Uh, it's a We got a new TV for my birthday. It's a really nice Samsung TV. Uh, thank you to Chris, I love you, because we had now have a nice new living room TV. It was kind of a birthday gift to us. But the point is I had to get a new Kinect stand because it could no longer could just sit without an actual proper stand. Uh, this one is from PDP and it works really really well perfect i absolutely recommend it i really like the fact that it comes with a cover for the connect the actual camera part so and gladly it does not interfere with the voice commands so now you don't have to have your xbox one watching you if it makes you feel uncomfortable so really highly recommend this stand for apparel i got this shirt off of t fury because it's like the most absolute perfect combination of my love of Sailor Moon and Nintendo. Super Sailor Peach! Like, how could you not love this shirt? How could you not love this? This is like, perfect. This is like, I need to cosplay this because it just describes my love of Nintendo and Sailor Moon. But I was thinking what would be kind of cool is if I did a Sailor Jigglypuff. I'm going to do that one day. I promise you that. I will do a Sailor Jigglypuff. I will do that before I die. And then at Hot Topic on my birthday, because I was kind of spending to reach a coupon to get a percentage off, because I think it was um, buy one, get one 50% off, uh, I got this Luna shirt, because I love Luna. Also, I did pick up the Sailor Moon Blu-ray set of the first part of the second season, uh, the limited edition off of Right Stuff, because I also, oops, that's not what I wanted to get. <laughs> um, it came with a limited edition coin. I've been getting all my sets off of right stuff specifically for the limited edition items. And it comes with a moon crystal power makeup coin. 
I will do a little close up here if you like, but a really nice little coin just, you know, shows the current Sailor Moon Compact of the season that it was released with. And then I also did get Tales of Vesperia, The First Strike. It's a movie based off of the game, but it's not like a spin-off or anything. It's the prequel. A series of events that take place before the game. I highly recommend playing the game first before you watch this. It goes either way because it doesn't spoil anything at all, but it's more just you understand the characters more, like you see where they're coming from if you play the game first. Uh, but no, really no spoilers at all for the game. Just if you played the game, I recommend it. Speaking of more Tales of Asperia stuff, I kind of couldn't help myself and I went out and got a Tales of Asperia figure. This is just so well made and I cannot begin to fathom how much this bay representation is just amazing. But I did get it off eBay because it's very difficult to find um, brand new at a decent price. Uh, so I did actually did get this used uh, and it was the cheapest one on eBay at the time. And then also I really like about this set because all the characters, there's Flynn, Estelle, Rita, um, they come with a little chipping version of them that you could stand them next to, so they're really, really adorable. So I got Yuri and Chippy Yuri, Bay and Chippy Bay. And the rest of the stuff is mostly little toys and figures because I'm a child at heart who has three jobs, so I will spend my money as I please on my hobbies. So one of them is the Sailor Moon um, Cutie Moon Rod. It was on sale on Amazon for about $60. I don't think it's on sale for that much anymore, but generally, highly recommend this item if you're a Sailor Moon lover and fan of having the items and really good for cosplay as well because it's really well made. Also on eBay, I splurged and I could not help getting the Sailor Moon Star Locket. This is a reprint. There was an edition back in the early 90s and it's very hard to come across at a price that is not the same as your like apartment rent or your house payment. So I recommend a cheaper and easier to obtain version. To get of this is the recently reprinted one. It's from Bandai. It's got the 20th um, anniversary Sailor Moon logo on it and you know the official Bandai Tui sticker, where are you? You are right on the back. And it's really, really nice and shiny. It comes with a little chain and just, I almost started crying when I got it. But um, definitely you have to have this if you're a Sailor Moon fan and you are able to come across one at a good price. I'd say for this one, try to look around 120 or maybe just a little bit up. There's a pink version of this as well. That's a little cheaper, probably around $90 you can get it for. But um, recommend this. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I did a little birthday splurging. I figure like a lot of this is like, it was my birthday month. I rewarded myself. So I bit the bullet, uh, got the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive off of eBay, the Sailor Moon um, SH Figures. And this one is supposed to be the Imposter Sailor Moon, which is supposed to be, um, uh, I can't think of his name. Zoisite. Uh, Zoisite impersonating Sailor Moon during the anime. You can recognize one of those parts um, if you watched it when, you know, Purple Editions, when they tried to lure out Tuxedo Mask and also the Sailor Scouts. Uh, but mostly to lure out Tuxedo Mask. Um, but just love it, love it, love it. I have an unboxing of this and a Tuxedo Mask. I did get him as well for my birthday. Thank you to Hazel Summers for this gift. Um, love you, and I'll link his stuff below. But I do have an unboxing of these together in a video. If it's not up yet, I will make sure to post to my social media. Uh, if it is up now, uh, here will be a link. Moon figures, I decided to splurge on little chibi Sailor Supermoon and Sailor Uranus. Um, one's a little bit like, it's like medium chibi, and then this one's chibi chibi. I don't know how to explain it, but um, I got this one from Second and Charles. And then I got this one at a local Japanese China import store. Uh, so really, really happy. They're really cute and adorable and I absolutely love them. And I'm just really obsessed with Sailor Moon as you can tell right now. <laughs> also from Hot Topic, I did get this one during the buy one get one 50% off sale. So yeah, lots of Sailor Moon <laughs> this haul. I bought myself this on my birthday at Toys R Us because it's a freaking adorable Pikachu. And I can't tell if I want to call that like a tomato because of Pikachu's in like P the anime Pikachu is obsessed with ketchup. So I don't know if I want to say this is a tomato to represent his love of ketchup or if I want to say it's a berry or an apple. But it's a freaking adorable Pikachu holding some kind of edible red leafed edible food item. And it's adorable. 
And yes, I did pick up the Palutena and Dark Pit Amiibo. Uh, pretty excited. Uh, if you watched my unboxing video of these, you heard me say that I just think Palutena is like one of the most absolute beautiful Amiibo that have been released so far. Really great job to Amazon and their release. And also Best Buy as well. People were still walking up to the one of the Best Buys I went to that I actually waited in line for. Um, people were walking up at like 9.45 and they were easily getting tickets. And there were some that were still available like an hour later. So, um... Really good props that the Amiibo situation feels like it's getting more under control. And then last but not least, actually something that Chris picked up for me from his work today. I, he knew, I've been following one of the Amiibo trade groups on Facebook and like a lot of people are like posting about getting all the Nintendo World figures now that Nintendo is releasing. So I'm like, now I'm hunting those a little bit, uh, but I really want to find, really what I want to get is the limited edition gold bullet bill and the star power uh, Mario that's like a clear rainbow. Um, I have not been able to find them anywhere, um, but if anyone's able to come across them in the southeastern Michigan area, please hit me up, give me a tweet me, ring me, whatever, you know, help me get those. Uh, but he did pick this up for me, really nice. Uh, he got one of every one that was released there and brought there today to him. Um, there's a, let's see, let's go in order of series. So we got a little mini Link and Tetra, and these are the Wind Waker versions of them. We got one little Pikmin here and I love the blue Pikmin because I feel like if I had to pick a favorite Pikmin it would be the blue one because water. I don't know why but I love the blue Pikmin. Uh, then we got the Piranha Plant and Bullet Bill from the Super Mario series. And then we got Mario and Luigi. So uh, pretty exciting stuff. And I'm looking at the back here and it's showing that like every single one that was here except for Yoshi. There was, there was supposed to be a Yoshi part of the set but this is part of a series one through four, it's saying. So uh, I guess there's going to be sets of these, and it's time to start hunting these along with Amiibo. So that is my haul for the month of July and August. Yep, the month of July and August. Uh, as always, I want you guys to comment down below. Tell me the things that you picked up. Make me jealous because there's people... As I read your comments all the time. You make me jealous with the things you're able to find. If this is your first time on my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button down below. It'll let you know when I upload new videos. I upload every Monday and Friday guaranteed on this channel. I might upload more. Depends on if I have that time that week and something else pops up. Uh, I might post a video this Wednesday, but I will let you know on my social media. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you for my next video. Bye!